Hello students, if you're feeling a little stressed these days, um, take a minute and check out some of our beautiful plants here at Lakeside. Uh, these are some of the ones we have in Allen Gates. That one in the back is uh, a pothos. It's a strawberry begonia. This is a silver squill that I transplanted. It's a baby monstera in the back. I forget what that guy is. And this one. This is a, a baby cyclamen. He's gonna get flowers in a bit. It's a um, goldfish plant. And a rattlesnake plant. He's not feeling super good. It's a little jade plant. They're uh, succulents, they don't need much water. This, I believe, is a baby Diffenbachia. There's a, a, I think that's a Hythornia. And uh, a little elephant's ear in the back. That big one is sometimes called a ZZ plant. I think it's uh, Zamnoculcus zamifolia is the name for that one. Here's another silver squill. I forget what this little guy is, but he's kind of cute. Another baby jade. Over here, this is the parent silver squill plant that I pulled off some of those babies from. It's kind of cool. It's native to South Africa in Cape Town. These are some baby lipstick plants. I'll show you mama in a second. This is the adult or the big goldfish plant that I've been transplanting from. Ah, this beautiful one is a split leaf philodendron. It's one of my faves. That's a little peace lily. And what do we got back there? There's another Monstera, and a Pilea, and um, oh, this is interesting. This is an Anthurium. It's an Anthurium with black flowers, which is really unusual. Another elephant ear back there. That's uh, an uh, Aglomenia, I think is what they call that. It's uh, also called Chinese Evergreen. And here's another Philodendron. And that is the parent, or the big lipstick plant. Some of these are doing pretty good. Others of them weren't doing so well this winter. Oh yeah, on Mr. Jones' child's desk, since he's not around, I put, this is a big anthurium. It has uh, pink flowers. And this is a huge Diffenbachia, also called dumb cane. It's called dumb cane because uh, it's full of oxalic acid and if you eat it, uh, sometimes you get paralyzed and you can't talk. So, you're dumb. This is a, a really large uh, aglonemia. This is the parent of this cute little one over here. And this is a, a silver bay aglonemia. Different species, or the same species, different variety. And that's actually a rubber, a rubber plant. What do we got over here? This is a... Uh, Called an umbrella tree. And another split leaf aglo, or a split leaf philodendron that's not doing so well. This one's doing better. Um, they sometimes, I forget exactly what they call this, but this is an interesting chap. And a few of the more of them over here. This is another really large peace lily that's actually flowering. And this little guy is a parlor palm. Not very big yet. All right, take some deep breaths if you're stressed. Think about some plants. Maybe you can even uh, tend to one of the plants in your house. Talk to you soon.